Oh hey Hells Gamers, what's up? Um, since a lot of you requested help with the new banning system, I decided to make you guys a little tutorial on how to use it. Um, it's pretty simple once you've figured it all out, so I hope you'll like Hells Gamers bans as much as I do soon. Basically, what you want to do first, obviously, is logging in on the firms. Then you can either go to the firm page, scroll down to the ban section, and click it there. Um, it's where the old bans used to be. Or uh, you, then you'll be like redirected automatically or you can just go to the link right away the one I've typed out here um, and you should totally bookmark it, I've done that too, it's way easier you don't have to type it out every time um, the first thing, the first screen you'll get to see when you go to this link is this one it looks pretty messy and cluttered at first but it's quite organized to be honest um, about the icons, these are the regular bands because yeah of course this is the band hammer these ones are tea lists, and there should be a blacklist too, yeah, here. Um, these are the blacklists. To the left you can see for other icons. These ones are the web bands, means they have been made through Hell's Gamers bands. These ones have been made in the CSS server. And those here are made in Gmod server. Those right here are made in TF2 server. If, let's say, you only play CSS and you don't want a per blacklist showing, you can scroll down a bit. Click the green per blacklist thingy, and the page will refresh and leave out all Gmail blacklists. You can also do this for tier lists, for example, and for normal bands. Um, other there's two other cool buttons right here to the right. One's hide group bands. Like if you'd go to page two or three on the HG bands, you would see Enigma's been working hard group banning um, a lot of people in band scene groups. If you think that's too like cluttery, you can just hide the group bands. You can also hide the closed bands, but I'm not going to do that right now because I don't need it. Um, imagine you just ban someone in a server for aimbotting. Um, instead of making a new thread on the firms, just come to House Gamers bands and check the latest bands there. If it's been a few hours, you might need this team ID to look them up, but it will probably still be on the front page anyways. Just scroll through the list, click the one you need, and the ban report will pop up. The info they already collected is the Steam ID, the name, and the server they were on. And the report will also tell the reason you put uh, in to ban them in-game. This means all you have to add really is the demo or a picture or pictures, and if need be, extra comments. If you want to request a ban list, uh, a ban a tier list or a backlist, you just go to HG bans, scroll all the way down until you see this banning template. You add the Steam ID in this box the name of the person in the second one, and you add the rest of the info on the report section. Um, it's best to follow the old templates uh, to make sure you don't forget stuff, but you don't have to use the Steam ID anymore and the name because you already put it in the first two boxes. And Also make sure not to use links anymore for proof. Um, we have the fancy new uh, drag and drop box for that. So the bottom box will already be filled out with your username on the forms. And this box is where the, uh, you pick what kind of ban you would like to request. So a regular one, a tier list, or a blacklist. The proof, as I already said, will go in this fancy new box here. Um, I know there's another way to do it, but I have no clue how. So what I do is I open the folder where I have my demo stored. Hold on. right here, then I just click the one I need at once, I drag it and I drop it on the box. Um, wait until the bar turns green before you submit the report, otherwise the proof will not be added to your report. And then just click submit and your ban request is added, or your tier list request, or your blacklist request of course. Um, if you go to the HG uh, bans uh, front page again, you'll see there there's different symbols behind the bans too, like not only in front of it but also behind it. The green marks are the approved bands, the red X's are the disapproved ones. A question mark means someone put up a request but it still needs to be checked. Um, once leadership approves or disapproves these ones, they'll change to a green V or a red X too. The orange V marks are the active ones that still need review, so they are active. People are actually banned then, but uh, someone needs to approve them yet, so a DA or DM has to approve them yet. If you'd like to appeal your ban, the tier list or backlist, you can find your bans by either typing out your Steam ID in the search box you find below the ban list, like right above the ban request template, 
or you can just put your Steam ID, uh, Steam name in there. Um, the Steam ID one is more accurate because you'll find all bands you had on your Steam ID. Enter it, then click search, and the news band will always be the top one. So click that one if there's more than one. The band report will then open, and if you scroll down, you can post an unbanned request as a reply to the original band request. Don't make new threads for it because it will clutter everything terribly. Um, if a thread has been locked before you could appeal your ban, the best option you have is to PM the person who locked it asking to reopen it for you to replay. Um, that's about it really. Um, if in the future new features are added to the banning system, I will make a new video to keep you guys updated. And if things still seem unclear, don't hesitate to contact a uh, division advisor or a divi division manager for your division. Good luck, see ya.